What's up, Vengers? Hello, Vengers. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Dude, Welcome back. We're back in school, baby. Yes. You know, it's fucking good morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Shout out, Kanye. You know that the fucking... You know that Formula One's back if I'm starting with Kanye in the first five seconds of the fucking episode. Hey, hey, we can sing it. You can. That's right. That's right. I used to... When I, when I, went, when I was in college and I had a car my sophomore year, we would crank that going to school every day. Yeah. Start the day off right. And you know what? I started my day off right. Formula One started everyone's day off right because this was the fucking sluttiest race that I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah. I mean, I wish I hadn't watched it on shitty Spirit Airline Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah. Matt went ahead and booked a flight for today, like three weeks ago. Didn't bother. to. He's like, I'm flying in on a Sunday. It's the summer break. Who cares? No, no, no. Zanvort was today. Yeah. Fucking Max Verstappen tied Sebastian Vettel and Ascari <laughs> as the fucking most consecutive yeah. wins in Formula 1 history. Guess what? He's going to win in Monza. Guess what? He's going to get the 10th. Guess what? I'm wearing the fucking... Red Bull sent us some merch, yep. and I'm wearing this... Sh- I'm wearing the most expensive piece of article of clothing <laughs> that, I, that I, I've that i ever owned in my entire life on my body right now. I'm going to be sweating in my fucking basement. Yeah. But guess what? Matt's in New York. Yep. We're in the fucking studio, a.k.a. my basement, reporting live, talking about the fucking Dutch G. P. I don't know if it was so much slutty as it was like literally a. Cl- it was like a clown. Fuck. It was a clusterfuck. It was a clusterfuck. It was like a, it was. What's what's the one? The brothers. God was trying so hard for Max not to win. <laughs> <laughs> So God true. was throwing so many curveballs at Max's direction. <laughs> right. God yeah. was like, this shit is so boring. Yeah. And was just what was so crazy was was first was first it was like, okay, we're gonna start dry and then I'm gonna throw rain. Like and the you yeah. know, and, then, right, and, right, then, right. and then it's gonna dry off again. And then it'll rain again. And it was just like <laughs> and and people are gonna crash. So every time Max builds a lead, I'm gonna tighten that shit up. Right. Because I feel like if he does have a weakness. It starts. Yeah, he can, he kind of fucks up some starts. Not every not, not rolling starts. I, I once no, he gave right. him a rolling start. I knew he was good at the end. No one start. No, when he slows that car. I mean, this is different. That's not quite a rolling start. But when he slows that car down and he's going literally half a mile an hour, I'm like, oh, you're all fucked <laughs> on the restarts. Like yeah. after a safety car, yeah, 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 and no, he's like, no. he's like, he's like, ooh, am I gonna start? Boom, yeah, all of a yeah, sudden, he's yeah, ten yeah. seconds ahead of you, and you're like, you're fucked. Yeah. No, but you're right. He God tried. God tried her, so hard. God herself tried <laughs> the her hardest to fucking destroy Max's winning streak. Threw everything in the fucking book yeah. at this kid, but it wasn't enough. He was down 11 seconds to fucking uh, Perez. Yeah. Then obviously Rebel was like, no, 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 we are God, actually. Uh, yeah. So Hannah, Sh- actually, Hannah Schmitz is God, <laughs> and Hannah Schmitz is fucking here to make sure that Max is getting that fucking ninth. Yeah. That's yeah, what not happened. not in fucking Zanvoort is he dropping that shit? <laughs> not in Zanvoort yeah. with the fucking crowd, which we'll talk about. Yeah. But you know what? Before we get to the race, you know we gotta thank our daddies of the pod. Uh, we gotta thank Kayla, Robin, Jordan, Sexera, <laughs> Jay Lingle, Spencer Grieve, Javier Mera, Sheila Valeri, Chandler, Luana Galbano, Ali Santana, Carla Juarlo, Kimberly Whalen, <laughs> Alonso all over. Sorry. A launch over my face, 69, Donya Denod, Jimmy, Muhammad Patel, Kimmy, sponsored by Mommy of the Pod, Michael Jervisy, Hollister584, and our newest daddy, Liv Lott. Thank you, daddies. Uh, we love you. We love you, daddies. And you can become a daddy of the pod if you go to patreon.com slash trfpod and fucking become one of our daddies. And we'll say thank you so much, daddy, every single episode. And okay. do we have a... Do we have a- oh, yes. Also... <clears throat> Daddy Spencer, who's a daddy from Canada, from the north, a daddy on top of us, if you if you will, um, he's his um, where he lives has been affected by the wildfires and the BC Wildfire Recovery Fund. There will be a link in the bio if you want to support Daddy Spencer and the relief efforts going on there. You can click the link and and put you put a little bit more of your money where your mouth is. Okay, you want to protect the environment, put it put your fucking put ten dollars there. Okay, <laughs> or more. Yeah, you fucking. I know. I know. Our, our fans are fucking rich. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I mean, also, wait, wait. Before we get into it, we have a show. We're gonna we're gonna be in Austin. We're gonna be doing a show in Austin, 10 p.m. Sunday night. 
So just mark your calendars. More details coming up. But if you're going to be in Austin, don't fly out Sunday night like a fucking plebe. Stick around. <laughs> come to the come to our live show. You know it's going to be fucking lit. Yeah. yeah. Um, so let's talk about the Dutch GP. I mean, where do we? I mean, it was amazing. It was an amazing race, yeah. even even in spirits where there was no ability to recline, <laughs> yeah, breathe, right. Every, you know what's so funny is every time I book every time I book Spirit, I get on the plane and I go, I'm never going to do it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then every time I look at the prices, I go, How bad could it be? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I go, That's future me's problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, me later on. Me we'll later on, we'll deal with that. I'm here for me now. <laughs> I'm here for me now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then I'm like, Fuck. Fuck past me. Yeah, for fucking future right. me. Yeah, for fucking present me. Right. Who right. was saying? Who? There was a lot of fuck past me today, in the race. Like who was saying fuck past me? <sighs> like Perez when he signed for Red Bull. Yeah. Was like or uh, Leclerc when he signed with Ferrari. <laughs> you idiot! You idiot! <laughs> I mean the the image, the image. Of the Ferrari pit crew, like, running with the tires because they weren't fucking ready when he came in on at the end of the first on the first uh, lap. And well, he, what's, they, what's I mean, so they, funny is he, was, is he had a sports therapist that definitely told him, like, be assertive. Because what happened was yeah. is he said he wanted to come in lap one. Right, right. They said no. Yeah. And he said yes. <laughs> he finally okay. asserted himself. Right. Which was the right call. It was the right call. Gasly, all the people that did well, Perez, Gasly. Yes. Um, I think Joe. The people that yes. were like doing well in the beginning. Right. They all came in lap one. Yeah. And Leclerc was like, I'm I we've talked I talked about this in therapy. I'm yeah. gonna go in lap one. And they just didn't have the tires ready. And we let's not even we're not even mentioning that they almost killed signs in qualifying. They didn't oh. tell him another car was coming right. and qualifying. Yeah, who, I mean, yeah, he he got him. He um, who, who almost who almost ran right into him? It was like oh, he was coming out of the pits. Yeah, right? he was coming, coming out, of out of the pits, and, and then someone like someone almost, was coming in on a flying fucking yeah, yeah, lap, yeah, and yeah. it was like he was like, guys, like how do you not tell me this, yeah. where, where these fucking people are? I yeah. mean, it's insane. Yeah, You're aren't they all fucking on? Aren't they all fucking drinking macchiatos over there? Aren't they fucking caffeinated in Italy? Why can't they tell these fucking people? Why can't they be fucking alert? They're tight. Get it They're on so it. tight. It's like the pe- it's like the Paris thing. You start making mistakes, and then you just get tighter and tighter, and right. it's like a compounding, compounding thing. They compound. I mean, the the beginning of the race was so beautifully chaotic. The fact that it was like, <laughs> the fact that it was like, all right, and and lights out, and away we go. Oh, there's rain <laughs> coming. It was the like, first lap. I was thinking. I was like, I was like, shh, thinking a, a, a proactive strategy would have been like before the first lap to just switch to inters like after the formation lap mm. i was like it would have been a fucking like proactive move to go in put on the inters because that first lap i feel like it's all bunched up it's not really about raw pace you just stick with them because the rain was coming whether anyone wanted to fucking believe it or not everyone's afraid to look like a giant schmuck yes everyone's too afraid to look like a giant schmuck and the worst thing you could have been today was someone who was like in between though that was like, Mercedes. You either came in in the yeah. first two laps. Yeah. You either came in in the first two laps, like most most did, or you like waited <laughs> extra long, like Mercedes with George and Norris and or and, and McLaren, like George and 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 Lando and Lewis, or you just fucking stuck to your guns yeah. and held onto the slicks, like fucking Alexander Albon, who did forty fucking five laps or something like that on softs. Well, he got it kind of got it lucky because I think a safety car might have bailed him out. At some point, but he was on those like he stayed yeah. on softs, yeah, for like the first seven laps or whatever it was. No, yeah, no. Did you know it was Lando that Lando did the Sochi again? They I told that, him yeah. to come in, and he was like, "I'm good, <laughs> I'm good on these." This he, boy doesn't learn. <laughs> the boy doesn't learn, Lando. No, I get it, I get it, because it like it doesn't make sense. Yeah, You're like I got this, right? I'm, a, I'm I can do that. I mean, Max did it for a lap. Well, doing it for a lap was fine. Yeah, but because it was better. Could, it was yeah. better to just fight that urge to give up track to not give up track position. Right. To just to because because instinctually it's really hard when you're doing well to just pit, but right. to just fight that and just come in like Perez did, like Gasly did. Yeah. 
like all those guys did, and just, <laughs> like Leclerc did, even like the fact Leclerc that even though they didn't, fucking, <laughs> even though they fucking clown show yeah. that his Ferrari wasn't ready for him, it was still a net positive that he did that. Yeah, even though he was a slow pit, it was right. better, better, better have a slow pit lap one than uh you know a better pit in lap three or something like right that. right you know what I mean it was still a better thing for him oh, I mean. I mean, and then he had damage, and then he had damage. He also went off. He went off. I think I, I'm not sure. Was it floor damage that actually fucked him? Because it could no, have been he, the wing. No, he hit the wing. The wing went underneath. Uh, oh, so and yeah. fucked the floor. The floor. Okay. So it wasn't two incidents. It was one incident. Because he also went off at one point. Like he went into the gravel. So I thought maybe that had fucked the no, floor. No, no. Interesting. Was, so, and he went off a bunch in. Pre- I want to say qualifying. He was going off all the time. Oh well, he well he crashed in qualifying. Well, yeah, of course, that was did. obviously beautiful. Yeah. There was a there was a picture of Leclerc. <laughs> it was a picture of Leclerc, like you know when you crash there, like you you like fucking you sit, you know it takes you you're a mile from the fucking pits, right? Yeah. So there's a picture of Leclerc watching Max like do the podium <laughs> celebration <laughs> right. while he's just like on the fucking sidelines. Yeah, he was in a, like a little lawn chair, like uh, like uh, <laughs> Fernando Alonso. Yeah, yeah, or also <laughs> like or for like fucking Logan Sargent, who I mean. Those the images of him after he crashed, where he's just like sitting with his hands in his head, absolutely iconic. I was like, <laughs> these are fucking with his American flag yeah. on his fucking helmet. I mean, there was so much that happened. I mean, Daniel Ricardo broke his fucking hand. <laughs> Jesus, we forgot about that. I mean, Zach. I mean, there was it's like the end of the end of silly season. Fucking Zach Brown is in the press talking wild shit. What was he saying? Zach Brown was on a, was stroll? on a BBC like was on like a British radio show. Being like answering, doing quiz questions, and Zach Brown goes, he's like, he gets all of them right, and he goes, he goes, I'm dominating. I'm like Alonso and Stroll, <laughs> and then like, and he was there with Oscar yeah, and Lando, man, and they were both like, <laughs> I was like, yeah. Zach Brown out here fucking Lance Stroll catching strays from yeah. fucking Zach Brown. Also, yeah. not, also there was wait, wait, there was one more thing. Zach Brown also said, commenting on Red Bull's dominance. As much as Red Bull's killing everyone right now, it's really Max killing everyone. <laughs> if they had two Sergios in the car, with all due respect, this championship would be kind of wide open. <laughs> oh, Zach Brown doesn't give a fuck, dude. He got lunch with Adrian New. He got dinner with Adrian Newey. He put his hat on fucking Adrian Newey's head. The guy is the guy's out here just like trying to fuck shit up. Yeah. He's throwing Spanish into the works. What? He's an American throwing a Spanner into the works. Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> <laughs> They're not motivated by things like money or power or greed. <laughs> Some men just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's, fact. that's, that's Zach, Zach Brown, motherfucking Brown. Fucking suing Alex Pillow <laughs> <laughs> yeah. for, for doing the same thing to him that he's done to like countless other people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. No, he... um. Yeah, no, he's an interesting one. He's got a bit of um, that American carnival barker moxie to him. Yeah, he he makes headlines. He makes headlines. Yeah, there's it's kind of you know it's Trumpy. It's Trumpy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's, it's Trumpy. Yeah. Which which hey, as we've said. Donald Trump should be should own a Formula One team and not be running for fucking public office. That's the place. This is the place for guys like yeah, that. Yeah. Formula One is the place for people like that. Yeah. Um. I mean. I mean. Yeah. I mean. Ricardo, as, as Zach Brown said, make McLaren great again. <laughs> you, I mean, literally, literally said literally that. Literally said that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was so great. And Drive to Survive when he's like, um, "Is this in euros or dollars? Can we?" S-? And they're like euros, and he's like, "Can we switch everything over to yeah. dollars, please?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking fucks. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah. Ricardo broke his hand. Heroically broke his hand. Heroically broke his hand. That's true. No, but apparently everyone was like, you know, why isn't he? All these fucking couch potatoes like us. Yeah, we're like, why didn't he let go of the wheel? You know, right? Why didn't he let go of the wheel? Like any good driver knows to let go of the wheel. And I'm like, obviously, like there was a reason he let go of the wheel, right? And I think he discussed like he had to like keep the lock on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To like save this kid's life. Right. Otherwise, <laughs> the car might have fucking like drifted. Yeah. On a banking corner. Yeah. No, no. He had to keep the lock on. No, so I he know. Sacrificed his fucking hand. Right. To make sure that to keep the the the, the, the I'm going to call him the Dark Prince <laughs> safe. <laughs> yes. He had to keep the Dark Prince safe. Yes. And that was really. Um, 
that was really um and it's really fucking you know he was just getting a rhythm going and um yeah i mean yo we, we've been saying that we want yuki to beat daniel in the second half of the season yeah, not like these. But not like these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got trouble beating Liam Lawson. <laughs> no, it. that was fucking bullshit. They fucked my boy today. They fucked Yuki today. Well, he impeded yes uh, the other day, and Yuki. then he and then what was and, and then they left so- him out on dead tires. They were like they should have brought him in, and then they were like they didn't, and then he was just a sitting fucking duck. They 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 screwed my boy Yuki today. <laughs> Um, I also yeah. think he got like there was something at the end. He was ahead of Lawson, and then I he, think like, he had a, he had a penalty. penalty. He had a yeah, penalty. so he just like fell. Like t- he got like a ten second penalty yeah. or some shit like that. Um, so that's what happened to Yuki today. But shout out, shout out to Daniel Ricardo. Hope that he gets. You know, he got surgery in the hand today. There's this clip of him talking to Lance Stroll about his wrist surgery, mm-hmm. and I think he was Lance Stroll was like, oh, "I'll give you my guy," and it's like that's what Jews are for. <laughs> Jews always have a doctor. Jews always have the best doctor for you. You know what I mean? Like, if you ever want to know, like, there's this guy. He's, like, talking to me. He's, like, he's like, and then Lance is, like, yeah, he's the best, man. Like, he's the best doctor that you can do. It's, like, that's what we do best. Yeah. If you're getting referrals, a procedure. If, if you're getting a procedure and you want the best doctor to do it, talk to your rich Jewish friend, okay? They will They will know. They yeah. will know. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so we got the surgery. He'll be out for Monza, but hopefully S- Singapore. But that's a stretch, apparently, and that's like a challenge. And Singapore is a really tough race, yeah. so maybe not. So yeah, it's a bit. That's a that's a tough break. But we now were, Liam Lawson has a chance to yeah to, to show what he's got. Liam Lawson did a few did a, did a, started follow searching, follows Dan Bilzerian. Of course he does, dude. Wait, follows suits. The, the, suits, the show, the, the suits. show suits. suits. Okay, for sure. And like, and then Emily Ratajkowski. I'm like, is this a millennial? I don't understand. <laughs> How do you follow suits? Yeah. And Emily Ratajkowski. Like, you were a fetus when Blurred Lines came out. Yeah. Well, you were very young. Yeah. Looking up. A goo goo Also, suits is randomly um, <laughs> kind of big on TikTok. I see all these like scenes from suits on tiktok and really then, and yeah it's just like the scene where the guy's like i didn't go to fucking law school <laughs> yeah. and the guy's like ask me anything from the yeah, bar ask me anything from the fucking like read your little book and ask me a question and then he'll just finish the sentence yeah. from the bar i'm like that's not what a genius is <laughs> I, I i'm so sick of these movies that like just think that genius is just being able to like memorize <laughs> shit from a book yeah 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 it's like good. that's what not it's good will hunting that's what non-geniuses <laughs> think genius is like you right. read fast and you could like remember things. Yeah. That's not a genius. Geniuses have original thoughts. But anyway, yeah. sorry. Jenny says that it's because Suits is on Netflix now, so the so the youngins have discovered it. I see. That's kind of what's happening there. Uh, um, but yeah, I mean, what else from before? Uh, any, anything else from before this race? I mean, the race was so. I was like, oh, okay, we're gonna have to fucking like make up time talking about Zach Brown and all this other shit. But this race was so unbelievable. I mean, what were the I mean, the, the the overarching picture of the race was like all the chaos with the rain. Then they're all on inters. Who goes on to inters when? Some people just don't go to inters at all. Then it's like there's more rain coming. Yes. But it's not like – but then they're actually like, nah, JK, like JK. It's actually not that much rain. Mm-hmm. Um, Logan Sargent crashes. Joe shout out crashes. To, shout out to Logan Sargent getting into Q3. <laughs> And then immediately crashing. That's right. He's like me. It's like you can't just you can't deal with success. <laughs> it's yeah. the same thing with Joe. It's like yeah. oh, these guys like they can't they fuck they get to the promised land and then they shit their pants. Right. It's like if you're ever like uh, <laughs> if you're ever like playing like a game of like tag. And yeah. then you're it, and then like you're you're just kind of dodging, and then you're it, and you're literally just like, yeah. and you like literally like have a heart attack. <laughs> That's like what happens to this fucking kid. I was like, he got into Q3, and I was like, yes, I was like, America, fuck yeah, yeah, yeah no. literally two seconds into Q3 in the fucking wall, and well, then I didn't care about that. I cared that he fu- apparently though, yeah, it wasn't his fault. What this crash in the race today? Yes. Why? <laughs> you're so skeptical. James Vowles. James Vowles is such a whore, by the way. He is yeah. such a whore. And he's he's so he's just always t- talk. He's like a, he's like a like you copy Total Wolf a shitload of times. Yeah, and now yeah, you have yeah. just a shitty copy. Right. That's that's James Vowles. You play um you <laughs> you play telephone. Yeah. And you go Total Wolf. Total Total Wolf. Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's James Vowles. James Vowles. Yeah. yeah. He's just like a less hot Total Wolf. <laughs> right. 
Right. And less hot, less charismatic Total Wolf. Yeah. And basically, he, yeah, he's just always talking about how well they're doing. And and they they put in these flashy performances on on a Saturday. Yep. Then they lose lots of places all the time. Mm-hmm. And they fucked up the strategy. Like they didn't have the. I mean, that's his thing. He was head of strategy at Mercedes. Which, by the way, Mercedes strategy sucks. Yeah. So like, are we sure James Valls is that <laughs> smart? Right. Because all they do is they set up the car to qualify well, and then Alex Albon holds on for dear life, literally every week. Yeah. That's literally what it is. Yeah. And and it's just James Vowles like looks the part. Mm-hmm. He looks I think he's a fraud. Mm. I think Toto is a fraud, but I think James Vowles is also a fraud. Yeah, I mean Alex qualifying P four was like, holy shit, that was fucking impressive. Yeah. But and I and But they I, fucked him on the strategy. Like well, he's 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 carrying himself like, listen. When you build a team, like it's about <laughs> systems. It's about the, oh, it's about leaving a guy out for nine hundred <laughs> laps and like praying for a miracle. Yeah. That's what your right. system is, right? right, right like right. you're supposed to be some sort of strategy genius. Yeah, you're supposed to make it like easier on your driver, not harder on your. Yeah, no, no, he had Alex had a race from hell. Yeah, yeah. He he literally goes, Alex, just fucking just just make go it, long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> make your softs last longer than any of the compounds should last on this track at all. And then hopefully Joe will crash. Right. Do you right. know what I mean? That was the plan. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, like, people like um, Alpine, somehow Alpine nailed it. Right. Haas, uh, Haas guess, nailed it Haas with, n- with Hulkenberg. Yeah. And uh, you know what's funny is um, I think Alonzo was so focused on what Max was doing. And Alonzo was just like, I'm going to match Max. I'm going to match Max. Like, cause, because in Alonzo's head, it's like him and Max. Yeah. In a death struggle. Even right. Because he's the only one that goes for it with him. Right. Like he was like going for it at the end. Mm. And I think if there there was an opportunity, I think if he had if he had done the Perez, mm-hmm. if he had pitted lap one. Right. You know, and then if he had done what Gasly did. Yeah. I mean no, there, no, no. He you could, could argue he could have yeah. maybe won that race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. if and he had a slow pit stop. Yep. Yeah, they Very fuck, fucked he had the up same his, fucking shitty pit stop yeah. that Leclerc had. Yeah, they were not ready for him. No, but um, I think when it comes to James Vowles. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm just thinking, wherever you are in the standings, like you should be allocated like X, that amount of media availability. <laughs> yeah. Like his 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 point stand. Like who's the team principal for Alfa Romeo right now? No one. Knows. We never fucking hear from that guy <laughs> because who gives a fuck? But James Val's always available, yeah. always available, talking about all the systems he's implementing. Right, right. Oh, it's Seidel, but we never hear from Seidel. Uh, you know, yeah. we never also never hear from yeah. Mike Crack. Killing the fucking game. Yeah, killing the killing game. Killing the game. We never hear from him. Yeah, that's true. He's just, he's doing his fucking talking on the track. Yeah. He's designed such a good car that he's almost, in, he's, he's, he's fighting for second or third in the Constructors' Championship with one fucking driver. Uh, how, many, how many points does uh, Fernando Alonso have? Let's look at the driver standings. Here. Yeah, let's see. Let's let's see what this guy's let's got. See what this guy's got. I think let's I see what this either. fucking guy's got okay. for the season. Okay, so Fernando has one hundred sixty-eight points. Lance Stroll has forty-seven. That's <laughs> it's wild. Wild. wild, yeah. And so, but he's joined, he's going to become a, a professional tennis player. Did you know that? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Lance Stroll's going to perform. Here's here's the, what here's can I just say? We're not journalists, <laughs> right? Right. We're fucking dumbasses who talk shit and follow every little dumb rumor that you hear on Reddit and we talk about that. But the fucking press around Formula One is absolutely batshit insane because I'm I'm literally like it's irresponsible for us to be like taking anything these articles are saying seriously. Max Verstappen's going to jail apparently (laughs) for going – 15 miles an hour over the speed limit. For going 75 into 55. Shut the fuck up, He's okay? not going to jail for He's that. He's not going to fucking jail for that. And apparently Lance Stroll is quitting Formula 1 to become a professional tennis player. These are both, like, rumors. Like, 
I have the biggest dick in the world <laughs> is a rumor that I'm starting right now. That's a fucking rumor. I have I have a bigger dick than Manuel Ferrara. If you, the real ones fucking know, okay? That's you know that's a fucking rumor. Write it in your goddamn article. You know, Planet F1, <laughs> Motorsport.com. Yeah. I mean, it's fucking insane what, the, what these like actual websites, reputable, seemingly yeah. reputable organizations are yeah. reporting on. Yeah. And then I'm like, and then I have, and this, then we get shit on for being illegitimate. Yeah. We don't even pretend to be legitimate. I don't. We don't even <laughs> pretend to be legitimate. If they're so insane that I'm like, I don't even want to do anything with this. <laughs> It's like if you've seen, just take one look at his serve, and you know that it's crazy. It's fucking, it's like, this is so obviously not fucking true. Yeah. It's just like, it's fucking stupid. It's funny, I guess, but I just find it to be like, it's funnier that I feel like I have better journalistic integrity than like some of these other fucking people. That's funnier to me. Yeah. Because we are journalists, and this is a socialist podcast. Yeah. To be clear. <laughs> um, Remember, uh, patreon.com. Patreon.com slash TRF pod <laughs> if you want to, you know, support local journalism. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's hard. You know, the New York Times, the, not everyone can be the New York Times. Your local journalists. That's us. Go to patreon.com slash TRF pod if you want to fucking find out more. S- speaking of, uh, you, who's next? You want to do. Uh, yeah. Who else should we talk about from today? I mean, Fernando Alonso was a god. Yeah. I mean, he had that epic start. I mm-hmm. think he took out Albon. Yep. Did he take out Norris? Yep. He just. It's just, he's the ageless wonder. Yeah, in like wet conditions on slick tires. Yeah, just, just, just picking everyone's just old man strength. Yeah, just old man strength, and uh, I, it's it's just an inspiration to watch, and just to see how happy he was on the he podium. He was so, so fucking. <laughs> no one, no one wins better than Fernando Alonso. <laughs> No one does it better, and he's won so many times, and he's and he's made hundreds of millions of dollars. But it means so much more to him, yeah. Than like you'd think you'd have thought that was his first podium, dude. He jumped off the thing and did that whole like, <laughs> and then he always like sprays the fan, like he sprays like his crew with yeah. the fucking champagne. Yeah. Like he's just a man of the fucking people. Yeah, he's so fucking happy. Yeah, it's such a joy to see yeah. his joy. Like it's so infectious. Yeah, no, he's um, he's he's. He's a bubbly, infectious guy. He's a he's a positive force in all of our lives. <laughs> he's nothing but a positive force <laughs> in the world. Just don't Google anything before this year. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and you know that he's just like this sweet older guy who's like just a, just a friend to all, and you know, yeah. nothing but nothing but just a, just a true sportsman. Just a true <laughs> sportsman. You know who? You know who I was really happy wasn't on the podium today. Who? Lando Norris. <laughs> Because no, those, those 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 trophies were looking fragile. Those trophies were looking very delicate. <laughs> and I was like, if Lando Norris was on this podium, he literally just would have been given like, yeah. <laughs> like kicked them all fucking over. Just just full with no respect for just, like yeah, just full <laughs> Karen in like a museum <laughs> taking a selfie and like knocking over <laughs> priceless artifacts. Although although Fernando didn't Fernando like touch the winning trophy? Oh, he did like he? reached over and like. Touched it cheekily. Yeah. You know, just to be funny. Yeah. Because he's hilarious. Dude, he can. And handsome. Because he's the fucking best. No, he had a, he had an unbelievable drive today. I mean, he had a, yeah, he had a shitty pit stop. He had some shitty strategy and he still wound up in P2. He also was holding with Max at that final restart yeah. after the red flag. Like, he was in there. Like, he yeah. was fucking hanging around. Yeah. And I was like, oh, maybe he'll, I, you know, it was like clearly, you, were, you know, it's like, it was a. Do you remember when Perez went off? Uh huh. In the race, and you were like, "Please let it be." Mad. <laughs> I was like, "Could it be?" And it's like, "No, it's fucking Perez." Just one time, can it be Max? It's just never one, Max. It's never Max. It's never Max. It's always Perez. It's just. It's and that's what I was thinking Perez. about. I was thinking about that during during Quali. You know, just think about how Max doesn't make mistakes these days. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, I can't remember the last Max mistake last year. When did when did he when did he do a like a full three sixty spin and then still yeah won? That, yeah that was he made a mistake there but it was like a it, he didn't go full wall yeah he like tapped it or right. like went off and or he or he knows when to put he he'll push it where he knows he has some space right so it's never like a full catastrophe it's never like a full sergeant right yeah he <laughs> he yeah. he doesn't ever really like he he'll make mistakes but they're yeah exactly they're not. Detrimental. He doesn't like DNF with a mistake. Yeah. And I was thinking about Leclerc in his quali and how he went off, and I was just kind of like, that, Max wouldn't do that. Yeah. Especially at this point, it's like early days, first couple years when Max was in was in Formula One, and he was more mistake prone. But like these days, 
Matt doesn't make mistakes like or that. He'll D- or he'll DNF to like crash into Daniel Ricardo to make a point. Do you know what I mean? Like, right, like it'll yeah, be like yeah, a political yeah, yeah. thing. It's right. not just like, <laughs> I need a next another hundredth of a second here. Right. And I'm just going to crash. No, it's true. God threw everything at him today, and he yeah. was still like, not today. Yeah. You know what we not say today, to death? Bitch. Not what is, what is that thing? Oh, it's, oh no, it's from, um, it's from Game of Thrones. Um, and we, it's like the guy who's teaching yeah. Arya had a yeah. thing, and she goes, he goes, what do we say to the gods of death? And she goes, not today. Yeah. That's Max Verstappen today. They wanted yeah. to take away his consecutive wins. He said, not today. Yeah. Yeah, the, there's, um, I mean, Perez, he, he lost. Well, first they fucking, well, he got the good strategy, then they fucking undercut him, which yes. was savage. Yeah, they gave him the good strategy at first, then they're like, mm, we got to we gotta level it. Back up. <laughs> that was too good a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's yeah. like, did I just get undercut by Max? And it's like, well, you also undercut him right, first. Right. So yeah, tip, you tip weren't for really here on merit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not right. here because you're the fastest. Right, yeah, yeah. We handed <laughs> you this, and we'll take it away, too. Hannah Schmitz giveth, Hannah Schmitz taketh away, my friend. <laughs> yes. Um, Absolutely. So, yeah. and um, But then he, uh, Max Gallo quickly, and then he fucking he crashed in the in the uh, pit lane. Well, th- th- he sped in the pit. Wait, no, he, he sped. He 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 crashed and then sped. Oh right, I yeah, think he that was, might he, have thrown him off. He was coming in. He hot. was coming in hot, and he crashed, and then like that might have thrown off his acceleration or deceleration, and he and he was just over the the speed limit. Right. Um. So yeah, disastrous. Disastrous. It was kind of sick when he went off and he did that like little 360 spin. Oh, I love when they do that. That was so fuck. But he did it like sometimes they do it. They stop and they do the 360 spin to get themselves out of it. He was moving and he was like it was going slow. At the end, he was like, and then like yeah, all no. of a sudden, hit, and his butt, his butt tapped the thing, and he yeah. was like, and I'm back, back to where I'm going. Okay, so um, but uh, we, I think it's time to talk about Leclerc. Okay, so. He's 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 fucking up all qualifying. Yeah, crashes in qualifying. Yeah, then he then he gets this damage in the race. I mean, it's it's um, uh, he has that elite pace, but when is he gonna? What's? I mean, we've just read a biography about Leclerc, and yeah. he has this. I really believe that he's got this thing about him that it's like, if he's not at the front, then he's gonna just be. Pushing extra hard. And my dumb Leclerc fandom is telling me that if he had a great car, he wouldn't be doing this. Mm-hmm. That he would drive more within himself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but now he's just like, fuck it. Like, I, I, I win. I'll, may, I'll pull something miraculous out of my ass mm-hmm. or I'll crash. I don't care. I don't like, I don't care about anything in between. Right. So. That's what he's trying to you, do. Well, you we hope that it's that. We hope that it's that. And you hope that that's what's happening there. But yeah. you're also like a little bit afraid that it's like, oh, is he just mistake prone? Yeah. Is he just kind of like, is it the, pr- I, I guess it's not even necessarily pressure. He just signed a huge deal with Ferrari. He's on for another however many years. I'd like to think that it is, yeah, him pushing the car to the limit because he's like, fuck it. I don't care about P5, you know? Um, right. But maybe, I, yeah, Ferrari wants, I mean, you know, maybe Ferrari cares about P5, but he fucking doesn't. He yeah, wants he doesn't to care. fucking, like, m- make it to the f- to the top. I mean, yeah, we, we just read this bi- biography about him. We did a whole episode about it, about his life on the Patreon. You can listen to it there. But, yeah. um, no, it seems like he, he always crashes when he's, like, trying to come from the back or, like, he's trying to, like, overcompensate for something. Yeah. Um, yeah except he was trying except to make- for last year when he yeah, was of in course. France. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That he that he um, unforced error just drove off. Yeah, but he had a lot of pressure on him. But whatever. Um, he either makes a diamond to make some ash. Um, yeah, Leclerc. Leclerc had the fuck bad bad day today. Signs, signs fans are fucking coming in their pants. Right well, now. Signs was looking sexy in that red flag. Gotta say, there was this clip. There was a shot. Of science. Yeah, he's hot. No one's taking this away from him. Yeah, I know he's hot, but you know, that's... that's Price. Every now and again, I'm like, I understand why people are delusional about yeah. him. Because he looked at the camera and he gave a little fucking like, like, what's up? Mm-hmm. And I was like, damn. Damn, that looks good. 
But yeah, yeah he, I mean, he had a good, he had a fine race today. It wasn't anything particularly special, I don't think. It was fine. He did. It was. Fine. It was fine. He, it wasn't like he got P five today. Yeah, it doesn't interest Leclerc. Right. The hot dog down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> Who had a great day today, Pierre Gasly. Yep. Great strategy, gutsy race. Mm-hmm. Um, Max, was, you know, it's interesting because, you know, Yuki Sonoda gets this penalty. They, they're they handing out these penalties for running guys off the road. Max Verstappen ran him off the road. Totally. And, and, and Pierre Gasly was like, I, I have a chance to beat Ocon this week. I have to. And it's only because Pierre Gasly, <laughs> like, went all the way off the track. Yeah. That they didn't crash. Right. Well, some motherfucker that doesn't give a fuck should just keep his foot in there and yeah. they should just crash. Yeah. It's like, I know. oh, there goes your streak, asshole. Well, that's that's Max's whole thing, is that like I'm I'll put my fucking nose wherever I want and 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 make people run away from me. That was the whole debate, you know, with the cops of it all. When Hamilton was like, no, like Hamilton he, finally was like, you shall not pass. <laughs> yeah. And then, and then, you know, all hell broke loose because right. one time someone, like, didn't just be like, okay, sorry, Max. Yeah, well, it's I'm, like uh, the Great Gatsby, like Jordan in the Great Gatsby. She drives like an asshole. Mm-hmm. She drives like a complete son of a bitch. Right. And then Nick Carraway is just like, well, what if somebody's coming the other way driving like you? Mm-hmm. Then that's how you have a crash, yeah. right? Anyway. A little bit of foreshadowing because you know what happens a little later. <laughs> Um, so when someone's driving a little bit cuckoo, right for Coco Puffs, but um, no, actually in in the cool down room, they were playing. <laughs> the cool down room was kind of iconic because it was you know it was Max. They call it the Max Verstappen podcast. The Max Verstappen podcast. Yeah. Who's going to be the guest on the yeah. Max Verstappen experience this yeah. week? Yeah. Um, but it was obviously Gasly, Fernando, and Max. They had like an ad for some movie playing on the side of the thing, and then Gasly just goes. <laughs> Gasly just goes like, "What movie is that?" And I was just like, "It was just such like a like it's like it's an ad for a thi- like you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just like playing in and they Max wants to talk about the race. Yeah. And Gasly was like, "What's that movie? It looks good. It's like <laughs> a, like black special ops. You yeah. know what I mean? Like special yeah. ops, fucking killing people." I, li- like, I, I like sick. I like I like that. He he acts like he's been there before. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was. Well, but they showed that moment, the moment where Max ran Gasly off the fucking road. And then, like, Gazzy said, like, oh, yeah, that was close. And Max was like, yeah, you have no grip up there, mate, huh? No grip up there. <laughs> and it's like... He's making excuses? No, he was just like, yeah, it must have sucked to have been all the way up there. Oh. It must have sucked when I forced you. Yeah, like, taking no... That toilet, that toilet water, when I gave you that swirly, must have tasted like shit. <laughs> right, right, literally. Right, right. I was like, Max, you pushed him there. Yeah. Max was like, yeah, no grip up there, mate, no, huh? I, I interpreted <laughs> that like, like, like he, like, that was... Just his excuse for why he went so wide and forced. Oh, I see. Like, because George Russell, that's what George Russell said to him. Remember when he got in his face and George Russell was like, I had no grip. I, you know. Mate, we all have no grip. Yeah. yeah. Mate. Yeah, exactly. We all have no grip. That, that's my, that was my interpretation of that. Mm, oh, but, I see. I see. And there's also a great, that great um, shot of um, Max looking at Alonzo, like when they showed his. Um, Alonzo's overtake in the beginning. Oh, like Max yeah. is like giving him like a look of like holy. Well, you yeah. you know that Max and Alonso just like kind of have this like we're both psycho killers. Yeah, like there's something between them yeah. that no one else is a part of. <laughs> I mean, you saw they see it. each other across the room. Yeah, right. A lot of the time, and they just kind of make a knowing glance. Yeah. There's lots of knowing glances between they the two love of them. Each other. So yeah. They're both just like yeah. dicks. Yeah, and they like you know. They just have this like, yeah, we're fucking at pieces of shit. Yeah, you know what yeah I mean? we don't like, give up. Everyone else here is like nice, you know. Pierre Gasly's nice. Yeah, like uh, at least they try to. You know, they, it's like they're all just like pleasant. I'll give you a little pleasant thing. Yeah. It's like no, when push comes to shove, it's like we we both we know who the real fucking. You know, what's are. funny is um, when they were doing Grill the Grid and they were like, this guy doesn't give a fuck. Like he's like he, this guy's like a. <laughs> They were saying it about Max, right? Yeah, this yeah. This guy's yeah. an absolute legend. He, his teammates shake, you know, in their boots mm-hmm. before him, and it was about Max. But <laughs> they got to Fernando. He goes, "Is this about me?" <laughs> <laughs> he 
You talking about me? You talking about me? You talking about me? Oh, I want to talk about George Russell. Okay. Because George Russell today, there was that moment where um, he almost lost the whole thing. Where he almost lost the he whole thing. Died. When um, Hamilton was like creeping right up on him. him, and it's just like this consistent thing where like when George really tries to play with the big boys, like his he gets twitchy. Yeah, or he fully blocks Hamilton in practice or qualifying or impedes him. <laughs> he does he he's getting he's getting O'Connie. Uh-huh. Except in a like I'm gonna fuck everything up sort of way. Yeah, he's a more clever Ocon. Ocon just rams his car into you. <laughs> and George is like, Oh, didn't see you there, no, mate. No, yeah, but Lewis but Lewis is like kind of more untouchable than someone like, right, like yeah, Alonzo yeah, yeah, yeah. or, or Perez or Perez or Gasly. Right, right. Like he's gotta be a little bit more clever about it yeah and yes when when lewis is nearby he 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 gets a little tired yeah lewis all of a sudden showed up in his rear view mirrors and he was like what the f- oh, fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah he, he was uh, lucky that he didn't fucking crash there that was that's like, how he lost the last time trying to keep up with lewis right trying to keep up with lewis but no he outperformed lewis this weekend he got he, he was he got a bad strategy they put him on like the mediums yeah yeah it was not the tire what did he say he was like he was like we were forecasted to win <laughs> yeah what the fuck happened and they were like the forecast babe that's yeah, what happened yeah, the, we were yeah. forecasted to win well there was like a little 15 minute pockets of rain that were here and and lord knows that the fucking mercedes strat you know after the after the race they're talking to Toto, and they're like, "Was that like a bad strategy call? Like, would you have done that differently? Do you think that was like the wrong choice?" And Toto was like, "I think it was catastrophic. I think it was a catastrophic choice." And it's just like there's only so many times that he can like use the hot, the, you know, the hyperbolic. most hyperbolic yeah. statement as a way of like taking on. You know, it's like he's like, "We own our mistakes at Mercedes." At Mercedes, we are real. We own our mistakes. Yeah, but they make the same mistakes all the time. You make the same mistakes all the fucking time. You're always fucking up on like whenever there's rain and whenever there's like like you know a real They're fucking always hedge. They always do some middle of the road bullshit. Right. They're never like we're doing this. Yes. It's never aggressive. It's you gotta be strong and wrong. Yeah. And they're always like and nowhere. <laughs> Red Bull is fucking strong and wrong. Yeah. Yeah, they just they just make a decision. <laughs> I mean, Ferrari is strong and always wrong. <laughs> you hope that you're, you're strong and right sometimes, but it's like you got to be fucking strong and wrong. You got to take a bold strategy choice. And what they did today was like this wishy washy. We're neither here nor there, and it totally. You're right. It fucked. It fucked uh, George's race. He was forecasted to get a podium today. Is yeah. what he said on the thing. I yeah. said, "Wait, anybody it was forecasted to get a podium?" But you fucking get what I meant. Yeah. Um. Yeah, no, but he's kind of what he. But what's interesting is is what I've heard is mm-hmm. he'll set up his car on for a Saturday. Who George? Russell. George, yeah, and Lewis won't. Mm-hmm. Lewis will like set his car up for the race and struggle, right? And then and then he's just in a better position on a Sunday. Yeah. So when he's having trouble getting his tires warm mm. over one lap, like on a Saturday, yeah. And George is like, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> That's not necessarily going to redound to your benefit over the course of a race in terms of preserving your tires. How oh, interesting. You know, and, and that sort of shit. Yeah. What's, what's behind that? He thinks he's like, no, he thinks I that think, he can impress more by out qualifying. I don't know. It's just, I think George, George tends to bring more downforce, and that, that's, I think, better over one lap, or, I, 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 I or, I don't know what it is, but mm. he, he, I mean, he's Mr. Fucking Saturday. He's Mr. Saturday. I mean, Lewis got it knocked out in Q2. That was wild. Yeah, that's true. But that's they had, true. but they had great pace on the race today. But he had better pace. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, he didn't have a great strategy either. No. Neither, neither of them, I think he had a better strategy than George, mm-hmm. but he was left out for a long yeah, time. Yeah. Lewis was like, you, it's really fucking wet up here, guys. <laughs> That was great. Lewis yeah. was like, guys, it's fucking really wet <laughs> this out here. Like, w- sucks. Why did you leave me out on these yeah, tires? Yeah. This is fucking lame, dude. Yeah. Um, what what I love though is um, nobody does it better though than Max mm-hmm. in like qualifying where like because it was rough for Max mm-hmm. in qualifying and then he he'd be like, what the? F-? There's this great 
moment mm-hmm. where they like show all the Dutch people cheering for Max, and uh-huh. then it cuts like it's all these people like, go Max, and then it cuts, bro, radio goes, what the fuck? I got no <laughs> fucking grip. Yeah, oh, this yeah. fucking <laughs> sucks. I fucking hate all of you guys. <laughs> and then if, he always does this. He always throws a tantrum, <laughs> gets pull or wins, and goes, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Never doubted you guys for a minute. Yeah, love you guys. Yeah, he was. We like, did it. Yeah, we. we it's, it's it's always been us. Yeah, <laughs> it's always been us. It's like he never he never really acknowledges that he was fucking like screaming at them. Right, and like you know. If he wasn't in his car, would be like hurling his lunch at them. If like it was an office situation, he would have totally Amy Klobuchar them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> but luckily, he's miles away, driving 200 miles an hour. Right. And he goes, "You guys are the best. I love you guys." <laughs> he starts. He starts with like, "What's up with the car, mate? This car, the car's fucked." Then later he's like, such a great car you guys gave me. <laughs> Love this car, guys. It's like, dude, wow. you are all over the fucking map. <laughs> it's such a journey with him that he doesn't acknowledge was a journey. Right. He's like, I'm sorry about the earlier. I, you know, I get I get a little crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> just I need a little bit. That That's the last step, I think, <laughs> is just a little bit of acknowledgement. Like, I knew I freaked out back there. Right. You know? <laughs> He's like Bill O'Reilly. F- fucking thing sucks. Yeah. <laughs> Do it live. Do it live. live. Fuck. Oh, oh god. He's so He's crazy. our fucking champion. <laughs> <laughs> that's our fucking champ. Yeah, that's yeah. That's this generation's fucking goat, yeah. you know. <laughs> yeah. uh, there he is. Uh there he fucking uh, is. He's um, uh, he's one of a kind, honestly. He's definitely one <laughs> of a kind. Um, what else? What maybe else? start going into the awards and maybe you know cover the rest. Well, there's some other news that I wanted to. Oh yeah, should we do a little news time? What 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 news do we have from this week? Apparently, apparently Joe Joe's in trouble. Yeah. Like maybe some funding, he's not bringing as much funding, or he wants more money. Apparently, he's getting paid five hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Right? He's probably being paid five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars, and bringing about fifteen million dollars <laughs> to the team. Okay. <laughs> but Bota, Bottas, Bottas, Bottas is getting paid ten million. Yeah. Joe has four points. Yeah. Bottas has five. <laughs> yeah. So if you, so let's just say. Jo- let's let's take the millions of dollars that Joe's bringing to the mm, table out mm-hmm. of it for a second. Mm-hmm. Let's just say you're paying Joe five hundred thousand dollars a year. You're getting about hundred. You're getting that's one hundred ten thousand a point, right? <laughs> okay. Yep. 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 One hundred twenty thousand a point. I like this math. <laughs> I see where you're going. <laughs> now, Bottas, that's five million. That, that's f- uh, two million dollars a point. Two million dollars a point. Right. I, I'm liking Joe right now. Yeah. I'm liking Joe a lot. I'm just kind of out I'm, on I'm about way three bucks. Out. I'm just kind of out on him. I don't know. It was just like, it was cute. He's like, when he first got out of Mercedes and he was like, doing just, his eat, pray, love. He's doing his eat, pray, love. And he was just like running around with his dick out. I was like, oh, cool, you earned man. it. You earned it. You earned it. But now you got to like step on the neck of this pay driver. Yeah. You have to like, Show why you were a Mercedes driver to begin with, why you're worth ten million. And then he's like in the off seat and he did that bike race where he was dressed up as like Mr. Duff. Yeah. And I was just like, this like I, this is cringy to me. It's only good if it's only it only is cool if you're like if you slap on track. Right. Being a goofy when you're like the president is cool. Being goofy when you're like unemployed is like come on dude <laughs> get a job <laughs> you know what i mean it's like right. he's not driving uh, yeah he's like joe is right there with him yeah and he's and like somehow joe's going to lose his seat and somehow joe's going to lose his seat <laughs> when he's when no, he's I being think, paid I, a fucking like 20th of what i think jenny was saying that like they like they really can't get rid of botas without having to fucking pay him 
Mm, so, yeah. so he's just they're gonna stuck with him right it was a really dumb fucking hire by our boy Fred Vasseur <laughs> this was a catastrophic hire well it wasn't even a hire by Fred Vasseur it was like Total Wolf walked into the office and was like you will pay him 10 million <laughs> it's just like it's like this guy has like a has a chokehold Rasputin like charm I mean people. he just like goes in and he's like you, you need him even though we're getting rid of him yeah. you need him <laughs> Even though we're fucking kicking him to the curb. Yeah, and paying George Russell far less money. Yeah. <laughs> this guy this guy that we're replacing B- Bottas with is worth less. I'm wondering, like, yeah, it's crazy that Bottas is getting paid ten million and he's losing well, I I've said it. It's 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 they're quietly just he's quietly just sucking. Right. Well, no one cares about Alfa Romeo. Because it's like like at least Williams have have these like they got the straight line speed. Haas have Hulkenberg who's like outperforming the car and has a great result here or there. You know what I mean? You want you would think that Bottas was would be having at least a couple of like Hulkenberg like performances. Mm. At least a couple of you know like oh and he got fourth today. Yeah. In quali, and of course they're not gonna like be there on race day, but like look at that driver. He's so fucking great. But he doesn't even have that. He's, he's just right. kind of meh. He's just kind of nowhere. He's kind of nothing. And then he's like, and then his social media is just like too loud. If you're nothing on track, your social media can't be, you're being too loud. <laughs> and I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Anyway, yeah. he needs to calm down. Yeah. Like Taylor Swift once said. Um, what other news is there? There's wait, there's definitely some other fucking news that I wanted to talk about. Oh, Felipe Massa is officially filing. A, uh, I guess it's like a, it's it's not like to actually get the award, but he wants money damages from the 08 um, season. The only problem is is that he raced for many years after this. Uh huh. And it made a shitload of money after. That failed attempt. Right. So it's like going to be hard for him to necessarily. Th- this is what I've been hearing. Yeah. So it be hard for him to prove like a loss of financial, like like mm-hmm. a loss of financial opportunity, because he because he raced for like five or six more years. And yeah. Tens and tens and tens and tens and tens and tens. Yeah. And tens of millions. Of yeah. Dollars. He's on the list of the top ten yeah. most paid <laughs> yeah. Formula One drivers yeah. ever. Yeah. Like if you get second in the drivers. World Drivers Championship by you know if you miss out on the World Championship by one point you mm-hmm. someone's gonna fucking pay you. Yeah, right? I guess it's like, I guess the argument would be it's kind of like when you it's like live winning Love Island. <laughs> it's just like for that bit of time, like you'll always be a Love Island winner. Yeah, but and, how much is that financially worth? Like how like how like think about Jensen Button. Mm-hmm. Like, does anybody give a fuck mm-hmm. about Jensen Button? That's a good point. Does anybody give a fuck about? I mean, people give a fuck about Kimi Raikkonen for other reasons. Not... Right. Well, it's interesting. He won a Ferrari. Yeah. And, like, people barely care. Yeah, it's it's not like... Um, it's <laughs> Daniel Ricciardo is, like, one of the richest people in all of Formula One, and that guy's not fucking won a world championship. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, your brand... Uh, it's going to be hard for him to make a case of... Here's exactly how much, like, my brand would have... Because, like, that's a, that's a subjective thing. When you go to like an advertiser, if he's going to do a car commercial, right? right. And then it's like, oh, my rate is now this. Right. Well, they might have said, well, go fuck yourself. We yeah. don't care that you're that you won yeah, the you're World not, Drivers you're Championship. You're not as hot as right. you know. Je- well, it's interesting. Yeah, it's like Nico, Nico, Nico Rosberg. Mm-hmm. He's a world champion. Mm-hmm. Like, how much did that? I mean, he. How much does that change his? I mean, he left, so it's hard to. Yeah, he did it's hard it in to a know. kind of epic way. Yeah, yeah it's kind of it's, it's kind of hard to know. How his finan- how he would have been financially compensated if he had stayed differently, right? But it's it, it's like I don't actually think it's worth as much as he thinks it is. I guess my question, I'm more like it'll be interesting to see because he's going to present the evidence in court, and the evidence will be that the FIA and Formula One knew about Crashgate and did not penalize. But here's what's here's what's amazing is if you like someone figured this out if you have if you disqualified if you disqualified Alonzo uh-huh. and just said okay goodbye Alonzo yeah and you move everybody up one 
Lewis Hamilton still wins the championship. No, it's about that 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 they should have said. What he's arguing is that the whole race should be have kept been canceled. But, but they've never done that. They've never done that once, and people cheat all the goddamn time. Right, right, right. But that's his argument. His argument is that they should have that they, the they whole done race, something that they've never done before. Right, and I think probably what they would have done is they would have just said that Fernando you know, doesn't like, win. Uh, yeah. And then whoever got second actually fucking wins. And, right, and, and that and, still results in a Hamilton. Yes, yes, true. Mathematically, it still results in a yes. Hamilton victor. If anything, it probably he wins by more because yeah. he... Uh, I think he got a second in that race. Yeah, yeah. Like he would have yeah. gotten first yeah, and then he would have had more. more. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that kind of is a little bit of a fucking house of cards. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I, I, I do have a hard time thinking that he'll actually get anything from it. Or they'll just like... It's settle like, and pay him some shit and like just get it over with because they don't want the press. I don't know. I feel like I feel like the press is worse for him. You have this if Brazilian prove, guy. If, if they this can, Brazilian if they can, if they guy can, coming for for Lewis Hamilton, <laughs> they they true. love him. Yeah, you people people. You know, Massa used to be this classy guy that everybody liked. You know, he was like a Bottas type. Yeah. Not, I don't know if it was Bottas, but like he was up there. He almost won a few. Cha- I mean, he was he drove for Ferrari. He almost. Yeah. I mean, he was. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys. Yeah, he had that bad head or, head injury. I don't think he was ever the same after that. Yeah, but he was a very good driver that I think was very popular mm-hmm. and considered like a nice guy. Yeah, and you're kind of now now you're this rabble rouser, and you're not going to claw the. You're actually not going to win the championship. Right. And, like, do you really need the money? Who's going to feel, like, sorry for you that you don't have, like, an extra $20 million? Like, no one's going to give a fuck. Right. You know. I would feel sorry for him if he, like, lost his seat, you know, yeah, that yeah, year. Yeah, right, but he right. didn't. No, he no, just no. Kept he continued trying. to raise for years. Raise yeah, for yeah, years. yeah, yeah. Um, okay, let's get into our awards. Okay. Okay. Hottest moment of the day. Alonzo start. Mm. Um, uh, I'll say you know Oscar Piastri had a couple of little sexy overtakes. Mm-hmm. There were some sexy overtakes today. People because yeah. on that bank turn, oh, it's like it's like one of those it's like those old school bike mm-hmm. bike where bike race. Yeah, they Rakes. do that. They do that in the Olympics still. I think, uh, like, yeah, like that. Uh, it's all fucking raked. Yeah, it's so and like cool. some when they dive down. Yeah, when they like kind of like the, like the, the you know the guy ahead is going high to like carry speed throughout, yeah. and then someone else just like dives down to yeah. like the lowest part of the track. Yeah. So Oscar had a couple of those overtakes today, which were pretty fucking sexy. Alonso had a few of them today that were very fucking sexy. Um, let's see what some other people said. People said. <laughs> <laughs> Liam Lawson passing Leclerc. <laughs> I mean, Leclerc had a fucked car. Yeah. They, they brought Leclerc. I mean, I wonder how much of they were like, "Whoa, you just got passed by the like." We're bringing the car in. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, I think those those are definitely my. Hottest you imagine being in the Liam day. Lawson. That must be a trip though. To like, to like I just passed Charles Leclerc. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Charles then just like passed him right after that. Yeah, yeah. Passed him back. But yeah, that was. Yeah. I was like, good for him. Yeah. No, but but the 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 com- I forgot which commentator was saying like oh like Charles Leclerc let him by there because mm. he knew that he'd get him he get the DRS he'd get, or he'd get him in that next place right 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 um, um daddy of the day I mean obviously Fernando Alonso uh, Fernando Alonso you know that today marked the that he broke Schumacher's record of the longest time between his first podium and his most recent podium. Yeah, he's the fucking goat. His first podium was in Malaysia in 2003. 20 years ago. 20 years ago. God damn. And then today he got a podium in Zandvoort in 2023. So 20 years ago, Fernando Alonso got his fucking first podium. And today and today he's fucking jumping and going, ah! I mean... Literally, the- some of these drivers were literally sperm when he got his first podium podium yeah how old's liam lawson like 20 yeah like they weren't even born yet. <laughs> yeah. it's crazy it's crazy it's so insane max verstappen was in diapers yeah and fucking fernando alonso was getting podiums it's insane um he yeah he he's daddy of the day gp also a great daddy because mm-hmm. they told max to come in lap one 
And he was like, I can hang it out a little mm. bit more. And the GP goes, do you think now will be a good time? Because <laughs> Max is like sliding all over the place. Right, 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 right. Just GP being like a passive aggressive <laughs> fucking king. <laughs> and they were, they asked Max about it, you know, that relationship. And Max is like, no, this is just, this is just our banter right you know just gp just fucking hating you yeah <laughs> and just being like uh oh, i have to be a sassy little bitch with you right uh someone it, said the 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 lion suit guy is for daddy of the day the crowds yeah. at zanvort are fucking wild yeah everyone's like saying how like oh 98 percent of them like <laughs> i said this i said this last year 98 percent of them are you know sustainably you know get there in a sustainable way yeah to like fucking gas to fucking throw orange vapor into the air and spew obscenities and just be the most toxic fucking yeah. Insane fan base. They love the smell of napalm in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> it was fucking exactly. It looks like fucking apocalypse now and there. Yeah, I mean, they were like, it was like the more it rained, the more they were like, yeah. <laughs> They're like, bring it on. It's fucking. It's not not no pun intended. It's like Mad Max in there. Yeah. Mad Max. Yeah, I mean the guy in the fucking orange suit. Yeah, you know they're doing like they're doing like the Macarena. They're doing like the they're doing like a little you know Congo line. They're like, <laughs> I was like, these fucking people are fucking. It's, it's Martin Garrix. <laughs> it's it's all like fucking EDM music, dude. You couldn't pay me to go to. The, although that track looks sick. The track is sick, but I don't think you could pay me to go to Zanvoort. Sure. Yeah, it's just it just seems a little too crazy. It's not for us. It's not for us. It's not for us. It's not for guys like us. Um radio of the day. I think you got to give it <laughs> signs telling Ferrari to shut the fuck up yeah. at the end. Yeah, leave me alone. They were like You've done enough. <laughs> they were like hey, you guys have done enough. Signs who goes, "Less radio. Just <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up." <laughs> you try to fuck us every race. Yeah. You do. You fucked my you fucked my teammate. Don't yeah, fuck me. Yeah, you tell me how many laps there are to go, but you don't tell me like when someone when Oscar Piastri might kill me. <laughs> Fucking insane. It's absolutely insane. Yeah. Um Yeah, and then also GP doing his fucking thing there. And then uh red flag of the day. Oh we got yeah. Oh wait, no, Karen of the day first. Karen of the day beforehand. Oh, Esteban Ocon with these fucking wet tires. Esteban Ocon complaining that they put him on wets, full wets. That was stupid. Why was that stupid? I mean, he... he it was stupid that he was complaining or it was stupid that they put him on wets? It was stupid. He was, they, they were, he was the only guy they put on wets. Yeah, but they... He, wet, the, then they called a red flag. But the wets were appropriate. They all the should have gone on full wets. But the thing is, but they pitted him right before red flag, so it was stupid. Yeah, but there was a but they pitted everyone right before a fucking red flag. That fucked his race up though. Did it? I think so. I don't I feel like I feel like he was like complaining for no good reason there. Did that fuck his race? No, he was bitching about them putting him actually on the correct tire. That's what he was like. Because the inters, they were flying. I mean, it, yeah, it was like, he was like, why'd you put me on wets? And then Zhou Guan Yu flew off track on inters. I guess what you want to do is not as... Is, is, but it's, but it's, it's a thing where it's like, I think on the, on, on, the, on the full wets, it's like you never want to be on full wets, but if inters are going to hydroplane, yeah, then, you should be then on being way. on full wets is going to have more pace. Right. So I mean, uh, he actually got. I mean, if if the the red flag actually fucked him, yeah, that's what I'm saying. But it you, fucked. You, but 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 I'm not saying it fucked him. But more than it fucked anyone else, right? If 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 the red flag hadn't happened and he had been, if they had done five laps before oh, he a red flag, made up a lot of he would have made up a shit ton of time because right. he was actually on the right tire. The, the, it's because a bunch of other people were stupid and didn't go on the full. Exactly. Way. That's why there was a red flag because the, because they sh they literally brought in Checo. To be on full wets right before they put they put Checo on inters. That's what I've been saying. The wets were great. <laughs> Esteban Ocon's a little bitch. I don't know why I defended him for one second. Well, it was just crazy. Like afterwards, like during the red flag, he's still arguing with like his strategist, being like, you know, b He's bitching. a little bitch. But he, you know what it was? He knew that Gasly 
was ahead yeah no of him. that's all he cares that's about that's all he cares about yeah. he just knew he, what he was really complaining about was like why am i not in third place yeah. <laughs> why am i not going to get a podium today and yeah. and my teammate pierre gasly's going to get a podium yeah. and you guys did something wrong he's like no 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 we actually nailed this yeah we did the right tire choice well when did he pit when was the, when was his first pit do you have that thing when up? was um when was ocon's, ocon's first, first pit, pit? Oh, when yeah, was let's his, look. what was his first uh let's see Ocon's first pit was was like lap two. All right, so they. All right, well, it wasn't as good. He didn't oh get no, that no, good, was it? Good. Was it? Yeah, it was lap two. Yeah, Pierre came in. Lap Gasly one. got lap one. Well, they didn't want to bring in people. They wouldn't. They didn't want to stack. Yeah, exactly. So there was like one of you's going to come in first, yeah. and that was the prefer. You know, you wanted to come in first. Yeah. They didn't. You know who didn't come in either? Fucking Mercedes. Yeah. They didn't come in either. Yeah. Those fucking guys. Yeah, Russell came in like lap three. Mm-hmm. Hamilton came in lap. Oh no, Russell came in like lap four. Hamilton came in lap three. Like yeah, no man's land. Yeah, we're looking at this now. I mean, Albon, Albon <laughs> went like forty five on on yeah. one pair of softs. Piastri went on softs. Like he didn't switch. To yeah, inters. he didn't switch for a long time. He Hulkenberg didn't. and Botas also didn't switch to inters. And obviously, Logan Sargent didn't either, and then it fucking caused the red flag. Just a black void for his race. <laughs> no, but apparently, here's the thing. Apparently, he lost steering power. Oh, uh, is that what happened? That's what James Val says. Oh, my God. I can't. I don't, I don't trust this fucking guy. He's a fucking used car salesman, that guy. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, you talk, you talk like a Harvard professor, man. You fucking have the dumbest strategies. <laughs> Um, people were saying, yeah, George Russell for Karen of the Day. Oh, for being disappointed. Well, I was forecast to be on the podium. I was forecast. <laughs> <laughs> you promised me my podium for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> when you showed me the forecast this morning, it didn't say Georgie in last. So entitled. Yeah. I'm so fucking entitled. <laughs> um, all right. Red. It's so so yeah. amazing. Like. He would have like crawled through glass to get to Mercedes. Uh huh. And now he's here, and he's like, mm. well, "Yeah, <laughs> Man, make it better." <laughs> well, this isn't the Mercedes he thought he was walking into. <laughs> Let's be honest. This is not the Mercedes he thought he was getting. That's true. This is, uh, you know, Total Wolf being like catastrophic. Yeah, the car is shit. <laughs> That's not, you know. That's not what he what he had yeah. watched. It's uh, it's crazy, you know. Your fucking customer team is beating your ass. Well, yeah, not, yeah, and like, fine. yeah, beating you on raw pace. Yeah, both teams were, uh, uh, uh fucking Aston Martin <laughs> today, and oh, both your customer and McLaren, and honestly, McLaren. I mean, McLaren, you know, they fucked themselves. They, they fucked strategy. themselves, but um, and P- Piastri flat spotted his tires. But if he hadn't flat sided his tires, he would have been he would have he would have been uh, ahead of Lando. That's about to be sexy. Once he keep, once he irons out his kinks, Bobby, you keep saying that. You keep saying, but 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 Lando was P two and Quali, and where was Oscar? P seven. Oscar fucked up his whole. Oscar crashed and he didn't have any r- dry running. Okay, I'm just saying. You know what winners don't make <laughs> excuses. <laughs> <laughs> winners don't make excuses. That's all I'll say. Right, right. Because Lando's win- wins this one tons of races. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, red flag of the day. Yeah, he came. He he came when he qualified P two. He said, "Oh, that that I don't even know how I did that because that lap was poo." Yeah. He said it was a poo lap. <laughs> Did he say that? I missed he that. said it was poo. That was a poo lap. Yeah. He's so cheeky. That little Lando Norris. Um, red flag of the day. I mean, you, I know we said it earlier, but you just got to give red flag of the day to the Ferrari fucking pit crew. Lap one, Charles Leclerc going in and the, yeah. do, 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 do. Yeah. oh, what? Oh, you want tire? Like the fucking Marx brothers, like, boing, like, yeah. you know, like they're slipping on banana peels. Yeah. I mean, it's just like, it's a joke. 
They didn't even seem like they were running that fast. I'm like, you like, or can you can we get some hustle on it? Yeah. <laughs> on the double, Jesus! I Christ. know, yeah. It's like throw oh, the tire. Yeah, <laughs> my God, it's, it was just fucking insane. Uh, it's 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 a it's a clown show. It was beautiful. Today was today was such a beautiful. It was such a thrillingly chaotic race. It was just like this is this is so like there's just it's <sighs> yeah but it, but it really just accentuated like who was in but the the people who are, like who, the people are who they are, right? Right. Max is who he is. Right. Alonzo is who he is. Yeah, under I guess, pr- I guess Ga- yeah. Gasly is who yeah, he is. Yeah, Gasly is him. Yeah. Gasly's him. But yeah. it was, it's also so funny. It's like it's like the first race back after summer. Yeah. So everyone's a little rusty. Yeah. And then like it's the craziest race of the yeah. year. It's yeah. like there's a there's a new cloud coming every 15 minutes. Yeah. That's either going to pour or tri- or just trickle. It was a shit show. It was just like what <laughs> it's like uh, you know, for that to be the first race back, like no one was sharp. No one like if that race I think happens like in a month after they've kind of like gotten back into the rhythm, okay. I don't think it's as chaotic. Okay, let's do fuck Mary kill the real podium. Which is Fernando Alonso, yeah. Pierre Gasly, Sergio Perez. Probably gonna put Perez out of his misery. <laughs> yeah. Uh Perez is like old yeller at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's yeah. this rabid dog right. that you just gotta You just gotta put him out. You're crying, you're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> you're just like miserable. Lenny from of my Lenny of my He's like, tell me about <laughs> what was it? Tell me about the rabbits, George. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about the rabbits, George. Bang! Bang. <laughs> Sergio's like, tell me about the WDC. Tell me about the WDC, George. Boom. <laughs> tell Shoot. me about the WC Max. Duh. Tell me about the WC. Z- tell, me, tell me about. Tell me about. Uh, tell me about it. We all get the same equipment. Yeah. <laughs> to Christian or Colin yeah. Marco. Yeah. <laughs> I want. Yeah, sure. You want the same setup as Max? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck, dude. Um. That sucks. I'm fucking Pierre Gasly. Of course. I gotta know. Of, gotta know, dude. <laughs> gotta know. Yeah. Gotta experience the tripod. But listen, yeah. listen, a tripod? You don't marry a tripod. Yeah, no, no, no. That that, that that's one night stand. That's one night stand yeah. stuff. Yeah. No, no, that's not mar- boyfriend dick. That's not boyfriend dick, dude. <laughs> That's well, one I, night only. That's that, and then, then you're icing. And yeah, you're just chilling. yeah, you're yeah. Chill, you you, that's that's not on a Tuesday, yeah. you know. That's to rent, not to buy. <laughs> that's right. And uh, then yeah, marrying Fernando Alonso. Yeah, that's a pretty. That's a pretty obvious. That's a pretty obvious choice. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> marrying Fernando Alonso. You marry Fernando Alonso if you just kind of. <laughs> are too strong like if you're a strong independent person and you'll see him sometimes you marry Fernando Alonso knowing that you're gonna get divorced if Fernando <laughs> Alonso that's what, that's what happens no prenup yeah definitely no prenup um is there anything else that I've gotta talk oh it was <laughs> it was funny that there was like there were two mascots that I saw today the lion one there was like two lions though and one was like on a platform like ooh me have a guy like whoop and like come on to the crowd and one was just like soaked in the rain on the top of the hill just like derp, derp. and i was like that's the uh that's the sergio perez of this of this of this crowd i've never seen a whole country get behind a single weird dude like this it's crazy yeah i mean he's the pro- but like, max Verstappen never looks hotter than when he's on that fucking podium yeah. When he's got the flush in his face. He's yeah. got he's got a, an ounce of color. Yep. Him like before he, the race? Ugh. Yeah. Him after the race when he's flushed? Yeah. Whoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's good stuff. Anything else from this thing? I mean, there was there was some kind of choice stuff from the from the the red flag. Just like, you know. There was a <laughs> There was a great thing of um Oh, there was like this great clip of like Oscar like <laughs> nerdily kind of like preparing his helmet yeah he was kind of like he was like dealing with his helmet and he was like getting it all kind of like just just right and like whatever and then they cut to fernando alonso and he's just like fuck it like <laughs> dick out just fucking man spreading for the world <laughs> it's just like there's two sides of the coin yeah. here yeah these are two sides of the coin yeah he's just cock and balls he's just all cock and balls <laughs> that was a great you know First race back. I mean, it was thrill. I mean, it was fucking not boring for 
even a second. There was always something coming in. Um, is Perez losing his seat? Is Perez losing his seat? Here's what's what interesting. There was like, oh, he can't have the same car. It's rigged against Perez. All these X, Y, Z. Mm-hmm. If that were true, if that is true, why are they putting so much pressure on him? Why are they so like? Why are they like? Let's get Daniel Ricardo in there and like ruin his life. If 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 that's what it really is, mm-hmm. if it really is like this thing where they're like, whoever's in here, we are going to actively fuck, which is what people think, right? Yeah. Which is like, and like we only care about Max. Why, why are why are Christian and Helmet so crazed in trying to find a, a second guy? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, because Helmut Marco was like, "Yeah, Sergio's in trouble." Like he said it. Right. He said it this yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he tried to walk it back because Christian's like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, what do I have to do? Yeah. He's like, he's like one of these senators that it's gone like uh-huh. yeah, a yeah. little. Yeah, it's, you, screws are a little bit loose. Screws are a little, and you know these aides are trying to, and Christian's like an intern that's trying to like fucking <laughs> rain him in, rain him in, yeah, so he doesn't fucking. Because he's got the fucking launch codes. He's got the nuclear codes. Because yeah. he has the nuclear codes. Yeah. Yeah. He does. So he's like, yeah, Perez is in trouble. We want to replace him. And it's like, Dad, shut up. Yeah. Don't say that. Um, but I guess it, if, he, if it was really like, if they were really just only caring about Max, then who cares who's in the second seat? Yeah, I don't know. If they're they're confusing to me. It's just like it's it's an it's a it's a continued discussion. I just need him to make a fucking decision. I honestly he had like a decent day today. I mean he he sped in the pit lane, otherwise he's on the podium and then like who cares? He crashed in the pit lane. Yeah, but he crashed when it was like shit conditions and they were on they were bringing him in to put him on full wets. They were bringing him in right. because because everyone because it yeah, was it was true. torrential downpour right. and he was on the wrong tire. I don't think that's like a necessarily like a him fuck up. That's true. And if anything like that, they kind of fu- he got away well with that because they put him back in third. But they could have really fucked him there, so that was almost like actually a, a strategy fuck up from them. They also fucked up. They didn't have his tires ready at one point. Red Bull didn't have his tires ready. <laughs> pulling a Red Bull pulling a Ferrari that was wild. I mean, they kind of fucked with him today a bit. So yeah. I don't think today is like a bad day for Paris. I think he had a actually pretty decent day. All right, Mons is coming up. Monza's next week. It's going to be awesome to see what Ferrari cooks up for their hometown crew. It's not going to be good. <laughs> it's not going to be good. I don't think Ferrari, it's like straight line speed is not their yeah, thing I bet you, I right bet you now. there's going to be like dag on that track as well. Is there high dag on there? Because they, they no. suck on their tires. Huh? I don't think there's high dag because it's, it's, it's just like straight oh, there's slow not down. It's yeah, not like a high yeah. – there's no high-speed corners there right. really until the end. No, that's right. Yeah. I think that Williams is going to do well. Mm-hmm. Mc- you think McLaren will do – no. Or is McLaren – McLaren is good on all yeah. kind of yeah. – all sorts of shit. Yeah. I-, I wouldn't be surprised if McLaren does well. I mean uh, it seems very obvious that Max Verstappen is going to win his 10th. <laughs> I mean is Max going to win every race this year? Is he going to win the re- – is he, is he going to win out? I mean, we we talked about this in the last one, but like, uh, he's got to change his power unit eventually, right? That doesn't even matter. Oh yeah, is he gonna have to take a penalty at some point? Some point. But if he does, it's probably gonna be like a five place penalty, which yeah, is fucking, th- get, which will get a five place penalty. Penalty means he starts in fifth, yeah, because the guy is gonna fucking yeah. get pole, and they'll do it. Yeah, and the thing is, is that nobody wants to fight him anyway, right? No, people are just like go go. Just go. Yeah, George you clearly he, want this more than I do. George, so. when he got third, when he you know he was on third after qualifying and he was like sure max will be off off in the distance you know yeah. taking his lovely sunday drive yeah. but the rest of us will be like, they've all just accepted that yeah the mind games of it is just like yeah like let max do whatever he wants he, we're, that he's not our race yeah but if i was um if i was very more secure in my seat i'd be like let's take this motherfucker out. i'm gonna take him out <laughs> like, no you don't get to do that to me you don't do it it's like i want him to think twice before he takes it on the outside to Ellis Island. Who would take him out? Who's on the Formula One grid right now? It's got to be someone secure. Like, it's got to be a Hamilton. It's got to be Leclerc. It's got to be Alonzo. It's got to be one of those three guys who, who knows that his future is secure. And it's just like, fuck it. You're not doing that to me. I need to think yeah. twice before you, like, you're going to do that to the other guys. But you're not going to just, like, 
run me off the road. I feel like I could see Leclerc in Monza doing it because it's it's the home GP. He's gonna crash out and in, in Monza. I could see him like not leaving room for him. If there's a fight, I think that Leclerc he doesn't give a fuck. It's I think that he gives a fuck like in other races. I think in Monza, it's the Italian. It, you know, it's the home race. I feel like he really wants to fucking do well on that one. And if there's even a chance that he could win it out and he has to like go toe to toe with Max, I feel like he'll take it to him. Mm. All right. So that's my Le- that's Le- my fucking Le- Le- wild Le- Le- prediction. Leclerc to win. Leclerc <laughs> or not even win, but take takes out Max. There you go. Leclerc takes out Max and Monza. That's my fucking thing. That's our episode, boobies. Um yeah, we're back. And I'm I'm very fucking excited that we're Fuck back. Yeah. Thanks. Love you, Vankas. Goodbye. Goodbye, Vankas.